Hello and welcome to um, another maths video. This time we're looking um, at um, some slightly different problems. Here we've got Andrew and Beth share some amount in the ratio of two parts to seven parts. Andrew gets five pounds. How much does Beth get? So, um, like we did in the previous video, I'm going to start off by drawing a bar. Um, and what I can say here is that we don't actually know the amount of money that we started with. All that we are told is that we've got some money. So we don't know how much our bar is worth at the moment. However, we do know that this some money was split into nine different parts and that two parts went to Andrew and five parts went to Beth. Uh, sorry, that seven parts went to Beth. So it's been split into nine parts. So let's, um, let's first of all split this into um, nine parts to begin with. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. And what we know is that Andrew got two of these parts and we know that that was worth five pounds. So two of these parts were worth five pounds. What we then need to do is we need to figure out what one of the parts was worth. Well, one of the parts were just going to be five pounds divided by two. So that's going to be uh, two pounds fifty. So what we could say then is that each of these parts are worth two pounds fifty. So just fill in that in. Andrew got two of them, Beth got seven of them. So to figure out how much Beth got, we could just do count up the two pounds fifty, or we could say that, well, that's two pounds fifty. We've got seven of them. That that's two pounds fifty multiplied by seven. So two pounds fifty multiplied by seven will give us an answer of seventeen pounds and fifty p. Um, so how much does Beth get? Beth gets seventeen pounds fifty. Okay, um, let's take a look at the next one. It says that I can make green paint by mixing blue paint and yellow paint in the ratio five parts to three parts. I have 1.2 litres of blue paint. What is the maximum amount of green paint I can make? So let's start off first of all. 1.2 litres is the same as 1,200 millilitres. Just easier to work in, um, easier to work in millilitres, I think. Um, now first of all let's draw up our bar and again we don't know how much our bar is going to be worth we don't know what it's worth in total but we do know that it is split into the ratio five parts to three parts so we need it needs to be split into eight separate parts so let's do that one two three four five six Seven, eight, and we know that we've got 1.2 litres of paint and 1.2 litres of paint needs to make five of the parts so five of the parts needs to be 1.2 litres or we can also think of that as being 1200 millilitres so now what we need to figure out is well, okay. Well, we've got five part. Uh, we've got 1,200 millilitres. It needs to make five parts. So what we could do is we could simply do 1,200 divided by five, um, and that's going to give us. Um, well, we could if we're not too sure, we could just use bus stop method. So 1,200 divided by five. Fives into one zero. Fives into twelve go uh, two. Fives into 20, because we had a remainder of 2, go um, 4, and then 5 into 0, none. So each of these are going to be worth 240 millilitres each. So they're worth 240 millilitres each. We want to know the maximum amount of paint, of green paint, that we can make. Well, this bit here, this is our blue paint, and let's. Um, this is our blue paint. We're not really going to be able to see that, but this is our blue paint. 
this bit here is our yellow paint we want to know how much green paint we can make this bit here so um, what we could say is that we've got 1200 milliliters here plus another 3 times 240 which gives us uh, 720 so how much um, how much green paint can we make well we can make um, 1920 milliliters of green paint which we could then say is the same as 1.92 liters <laughs>